ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, bodybuilding fans of all ages around the world and right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, are you ready? Good morning, guys. We're here, Olympia. I'm all fully shaven, little baby face now. Uh, fully, no hair left. Uh, ready to get my first coat of tan. So it's Friday morning. We go on tomorrow morning, but I have to layer up. Um, and with Protan, my sponsor, I've been with since 2014. Uh, we have to load up every eight hours. So we do the first tan, let it progress over eight hours. Then we do the second tan, and then the next day we do the third tan. So it's quite a lot. No more showering, I'm gonna smell for the next couple of days. Uh, so let's get in, do the first coat. Hollywood, I don't know if you can see in the background all the Olympia signs, everything, but I've got my first coat of Protan on. So, obviously, Protan have been with me since 2000, or I've been with Protan, should I say, since 2015, and um, they've been phenomenal. Always looked after me, best tanning service ever. That's a bit of a plug for my sponsors. Um, but yeah, the coat's gone on really well. Uh, I've got six hours to my next one, so today's just all about relaxing, yeah. uh, carving up, just chilling, and enjoying the whole process of the day before the Olympia. It's less than 24 hours before we step on stage. Um, so yeah, we're getting close now. I've got no pressure on me whatsoever. Um, I've done the very best that I can. I feel like I've, I'm in the, the best shape of my life. Um, and no matter what happens tomorrow, um, I've done everything I can. And I do feel like I'm worthy of winning this title this year. And I can't believe I'm actually saying it like this confidently uh, because I'm not normally that type of athlete. But I just feel like, Everything that I've worked on this year is worthy of taking that title from Brandon. So uh, as long as I keep it together, keep my nerves, the next 24 hours is relaxing and then we go to battle tomorrow morning, Saturday morning. Let's go!
Alright guys, so quick recap. Obviously I'm off stage for pre-judging. Um, didn't go to plan. <laughs> it's one of those things where I feel like I'm always saying that after the Olympia. But I'll be honest with you, I'm in a good headspace. I'm actually okay with it because this year I gave my absolute everything. I prepped myself and I got myself in the best shape I ever possibly could. And I proved to myself that I could still make improvements to my physique because it's the best I've ever looked. And all the the weaknesses I've had in previous years are corrected and I was really really happy with the physique I took to the stage. I was just beaten by better physiques, better genetics and better overall physiques and I'm okay with that and it's weird saying it because as a competitor it hurts because I want to be number one, I want to win and I've still got that fire and drive but the people who beat me today were out of this world and like backstage looking at them up and standing next to them I can't say I wasn't on, on form because I was at my best. I just wasn't good enough to beat those guys. Um, but like I say, I am okay with that. Uh, we are going to go back to finals tonight and just give it my all, go and enjoy it. We're on the, the main stage, Zappos Theatre, which is going to be class. Um, but I'm going to go back, get a few meals in, spend some time with my family. My wife's out here, my kids out here, um, and I've not been a good dad for the last few few weeks it's killed me because I've not really given him the time I wanted to and I've seen him progress so much because only two years old he's progressing every day and I've not been able to give him my time the way I should so daddy duty from this time on now so I cannot wait to go and spend time with them and that's what it's all about so thank you to everybody who's, who's followed me on this journey supported me the last few weeks have been amazing from the support you've all shown me on, on my social media and getting behind me I really do truly appreciate it don't know what ne what's next for Ryan Terry. I don't know whether we, we carry on competing or what it is. But all I can say is I enjoyed every minute of this prep and we shall see what we do in the finals. Take care, guys. Speak to you soon. Welcome from the United Kingdom, Ryan Terry. This is it. The next name you hear will be the winner of the 2022 Men's Physique Olympia. And new Right guys, that's a wrap at the 2022 Mr. Olympia and I cannot tell you how relieved I am now. Um, yeah, I'm disappointed. I think I came off with seventh place. And if that's right, that means in the, all the time that I've been competing at Olympia, I've got eighth, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, and second place. So it's not bad. I've competed eight times um, 
in the Mr. Olympia and I've placed in the top 10 every time. So I've got to be proud of that. But um, I did get a bit of feedback and basically they said I lost a lot of places with my front pose, which I'm, yeah, I'm a bit gutted about if I'm honest because I kind of conformed to like the American style posing. I, I went to an opposing coach over here and, and I really thought that was the missing piece. Um, it actually was a hindrance to me, um, unfortunately. But you live and learn and that's the beauty of bodybuilding. You come back stronger the year after and you find out um, what else you've done wrong. <laughs> uh, but joking aside, uh, thank you everybody for, for being a part of this journey with me. I'm now gonna go and give my 110% to my son and my wife. We've got Christmas in less than seven days and uh, we've got two days in Vegas and we're gonna enjoy some proper food. I'm gonna take my son out because he's been locked up in a a hotel room with me for two days or for five days and it's time to uh, go and enjoy some time and have some food put some body fat back on and i'll see you in the next video take care guys Is that it?